After the massive success of the PC release of Mechanicus, we wanted to bring the same tactical and lore-filled gameplay to console in a way that seemed more than just a simple port. In Mechanicus, you take control of the most technologically advanced army in the Imperium, the Adeptus Mechanicus, set in the grim dark 41st millennium. As Magus Dominus Faustinius, you'll lead the expedition on the newly rediscovered Necron planet of Silver Tenebris, where you'll customize your team, manage resources, discover long forgotten tech, and control your tech priests every move as you battle your Xenos enemy. We wanted to deliver these mechanics in a way that stayed true to the IP and brought Mechanicus and the world of 40,000 together seamlessly and effectively. That said, let's take a look at these features in action. A big part of Mechanicus is the large array of customization available to the player. We call this augmentation, and this is how you level up your tech priests. As your augment capacity increases, you can attach a variety of different weapons and upgrades. From melee weapons such as the Power Axe, to the powerful ranged weapons such as the Phosphor Blaster, to the Refractor Field Generator which shields your allies from dangerous attacks, or the Sanctus Canister that can give bonus damage to your next offensive move. Here from the bridge of the Chaostus Metallican, you can choose which mission to take. Missions are delivered to you as requests from your highest ranking crew members. New storylines will unlock based on previous missions you've completed, and which ones you choose will affect what happens within the story of Mechanicus. Some will expire if you leave them unattended for too long, so your choice has to be a strategic one. That choice is something that we wanted to give players throughout the game, from how you customise your tech priest, to which units you take on a mission, to the decisions you make on that mission. Choice is a massive part of the game, and it enables you to play the game exactly how you want to, all the way to the three alternate endings that you develop depending on your playstyle. It's really up to you. The story of Mechanicus crosses the paths of the Adeptus Mechanicus and Necrons like no other game and was written especially by Ben Counter, one of Black Library's most prestigious authors. You are tasked with defeating the Necron forces laying dormant on the planet of Silver Tenebris. By searching the Necron tombs, you will uncover STC fragments which you can use to upgrade your tech. The more you search, the more STC fragments you can potentially discover. However, be warned, the longer you spend in the tombs, the more Necrons you risk alerting to your presence, and the harder the mission becomes. Each chamber may offer great rewards, but like all good 40k narratives, there is a risk as danger may be just around the corner. That danger comes in the form of encounters. All encounters begin with a deployment stage where you tactically place your units. This could be a small area or a divided deployment, mixing up each and every combat. Each encounter will have an objective. These can be completed to either end the encounter or progress to the next hidden objective. Combat takes place in a turn-based tactical system. Every unit has its own initiative, represented in the top bar. This is the order in which units will take their turns. A unit has a set movement and a selection of actions they can choose from. With Mechanicus, there are no action points. You simply move and shoot as much as you can. There is, however, a mechanic that is very unique to Mechanicus. This is the Cognition Point. Cognition points are acquired in many different ways, either during encounters or in the exploration map. These points allow Tepris to move above and beyond by activating their most powerful weapons and abilities to allow them to move faster and more often. Mechanicus aims to set the standard when it comes to aligning the game with existing 40k lore, but we also wanted to go one step further by really exploring this and ground Mechanicus in 40k history. We did this partly by creating new locations, such as the inside of the Ark Mechanicus, for some of those missions where you battle heretical tech priests. Usually the art team at Bulwark Studios would study the physical models and images to painstakingly create the video game version. But with the absence of any reference for the inside of the Art Mechanicus, we had to improvise. We worked very closely with Games Workshop to create the location while keeping it true to existing lore. And as you see, the finished article looks amazing. As well as new locations, we also created brand new, never before seen characters and bosses, some of which are available at the end of seven special hidden missions found in the new console edition. To complete the action, we implemented a range of bespoke sound and visual effects that really make the Mechanicus weapons come to life. 
Having never been represented before in live action, we converted images from codexes and models into visually animated wonders. From the blasts of a gamma pistol to the large eruption of energy from the torsion cannon, we again wanted to make sure they were true to the existing lore. Along with the aesthetics, we also had to combine them with impressive sound effects that would match up with the visual firepower. We did this by creating specific and granular sounds for all units and weapons, giving an everlasting impact. We're really excited about Mechanicus coming to consoles because of the wealth of content that we've added to the game. The console version not only contains the base game, but also the Heretic DLC, which exposes the dark underbelly of the Adeptus Mechanicus faction like never before. Brand new narrative events, again written by Ben Counter, allow players to uncover what has brought civil unrest to the Caestus Metallican. You'll take on new but familiar enemies in a cohort of heretic tech priests that have changed their beliefs and forsaken the name of the Omnissiah. Your job will be to stop them before they corrupt you and your ship from within. But the content doesn't stop there. The special Omnissiah edition is also packed for the console version. This gives you access to the stunning Mechanicus soundtrack the breathtaking digital art book, and a special melee weapon, the Ark Scourge. The wait, though, is nearly over. We're excited to announce that the console version of Warhammer 40,000 Mechanicus will be available to play on July the 17th. Releasing on PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and Switch, you will soon be able to take the fight to the Necrons and conquer the tombs of Silver Tenebris. In the meantime, you can follow us on Facebook and Twitter at Mechanicus40k for all the latest news in the build-up to release. We hope to see you there and stay safe.